My body shaped like genie, booty dreamy, waist is teeny. Yes, I told him to get titles, so he streamy when he leave me. I go hard in the booth, biggie vibes, give me the loot. I'm a classy millionaire, bitches ain't got the coup. C-O-U-T-H, cause you can't spell it either. If I call him, then he coming home, running Derek Jeter. Bitches must be eating ass because I swear to buy them feet. That's how you know that you my son, I should have scrapped you as a feet. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a super fun video. Girl, do you see me in this blonde hair? I am feeling myself. I am truly loving how I look right now. So today, you guys, I'm going to be giving you blonde, bronze, goddess girl. And then on top of that, I will be giving you a separate video on how I applied this wig. Girl, let me tell you, it was not easy, but we got through it and we got it done. And I absolutely love how it came out for the most part. I do feel like, you know, there's some things I could have tweaked, but we'll talk about that in the other video. So for this one, like I said, we're going to be focusing on, focusing on a bronze goddess type of makeup. I'm absolutely loving it. And I just wanted to switch it up for you guys because I know I wore my hair the same for like almost an entire year, if not an entire year. And I'm like, you know what, it's time for me to change things up and just give them something different. So I just want to, you know, come on here and show you guys that I'm all about versatility and I can do it when I want to. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. Um, I love you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys on my next video. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take um, my LA Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige and I literally do this every single time I do my eyes. So whatever concealer that you have that's a couple shades lighter than your skin tone, use that okay and then i'm going to set it with some laura mercier translucent powder i love this powder because it's so finely milled and literally it doesn't make my eyes look chunky at all so for my eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using that morphe 3502 palette just because i wanted i really wanted to see what you know this palette can do so for the first shade i'm going to take is this super light brown i'm going to buff this into my crease and this is going to be my transition shade so from here on out like this is going to be the brush that I use to blend everything in together you know so next I'm going to go in with a little bit more of a warmer shade and this has a little bit of an orange tinge to it but it's not as orange as extra bitter used to be but this is more of a softer version and I'm just applying that as well to my crease and then I want to build the intensity and I chose this reddish brownish orange if that makes any sense to you and then i applied that directly in my crease as well and just making sure to you know make sure everything's blended <laughs> no harsh lines you know typical so next i decided to take this super rich dark chocolate and it had a tad bit of like a mauve tone to it but it just wasn't quite but it did and i don't know if that makes sense but yeah and I just applied that to my lid and I packed it on pretty heavy because I really want this to kind of be like the main focal point. And yeah, we are going to be doing an all matte eye, you guys. Like, there's going to be no shimmer in this look. <gasps> Girl, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's going to be shimmer in this look. I take it back. Sorry. So next, I'm just going to cut my crease with a little bit of concealer. And I'm going about, you know, like midway almost. And this is going to be where I lay like this bronzy tone shadow that's coming up next. This guy. Okay, so this is Urban Decay's Midnight Blast. This is like a golden bronze, like a nice mixture of gold and bronze. But then it has a little bit of a glittery effect to it, but not too much. I just apply that to my lid. And once I put on enough of that bronze gold shadow, I deepened the corners with that same shade I used before on my lid. And then I'm actually going to switch to a cleaner brush and just sweep over the top. You know, just make sure everything is just nice and seamless. So next I'm going to go in with my NYX gel liner. And I forgot to insert a photo. <laughs> but I'm going to use a angled brush eyeliner brush and I'm gonna do me a wing and for some reason I struggled a little bit with my wing and I had to do a lot more cleaning up than I usually do like I don't know it was just really off but I got it together you know I got it together and here you see me where I'm cleaning up my wing just a little bit but it actually took way longer but I mean it would have been too much me trying to show you the whole time I'm cleaning up this wing I literally did it for like five minutes it was so annoying okay so next I'm going to moisturize my skin and I'm going to use 
two moisturizers. This first one is the Netanota Fade Cream, and then the next one is the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Moisturizer. And I use these two together because the Netanota really doesn't give much hydration. It's very minimalistic, so I needed something a little bit heavier on top. And then next, I'm going to apply my foundation, but I did do my priming of my skin off camera. I used the Urban Defense um, and the Optical Illusion by Urban Decay. And then for my foundation, I use my NARS um, Sheer Glow Foundation in Syracuse. So yeah, just go ahead, you know, apply your foundation. Um, I'm using the Wet Beauty Blender, you guys already know. And also always make sure it's a little damp or else it's not gonna move the product good, okay? So next I'm going to use a little bit of my Anastasia um, Glow Moisturizer, whatever. And this is in the color Oyster. And I'll apply this on top to give my skin a little bit more of a glow and luminosity. You know, you want it to glow, shine through, honey. So next for my concealer, we're gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And this color is in light neutral. And I know if you ever saw this in person, like light neutral looks like it's too, too light. But if you mix it in with a little bit of your foundation like I'm doing, it's like a really nice highlight. Because I feel like Urban Decay's other concealers don't give me that brightness under my eye that I love. Only light neutral can do this for me if I use that Naked Skin Concealer. But it's super bomb. It's lightweight, you know. It doesn't make your makeup feel cakey. So I love it. Then, of course, I'm going to set it with the... Laura Mercier translucent powder and I know I told y'all I was gonna switch to something else but <laughs> I'm still using it so I'm gonna just wait on it so yeah just go ahead press that into your skin also the beauty blender is still wet don't forget that that is still wet and it just makes everything you know going smoothly you know capiche okay so for my bottom lash line I'm going to be using a combination of uh, the two darker shades that I use, I'm going to use those on the bottom lash line. And I'm using a super small brush, but I want it to be a little bit low. I like my eyeshadow to be a little low when I do softer looks. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the NYX Gel Eyeliner in my waterline. Yo, this stuff, it stays in your waterline just like it stays on your wing. Like, it doesn't run. I love it. It doesn't smudge. So to contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit in medium tan. <laughs> you guys should know. And I'm just taking a super tapered brush to apply my contour because I want to be really precise without me having to do too much cleaning up. Like, I really don't like to clean up my contour and make it look too sharp. Else it just goes like in a drag queen direction. And I don't like that. So next for blush, I'm going to be taking Video by Urban Decay and just applying a light layer of this across my cheekbones. And then to highlight, I'm going to be using my Kylie Highlighter in Chocolate Cherry. And I know it looks horrible because it's getting down to the pan. Okay, it's cool though. I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones and, you know, my nose and my cupid's bow. And then on top of that, I'm going to layer with the Maybelline Chrome Highlighter. Just right on top, just like that. And this is like... Oh my god this highlighter is so beautiful like i love it it's an awesome dupe for more of like higher end highlighters so if you want a good highlighter try this one and i'm also taking a little bit of that highlighter that same one the maybelline chrome and applying a little bit of that into my tear duct because i want my eyes to look nice bright white and bronzy since that's what we're going for and then i'm going to pop on some lashes these are the allure 126 definition lashes <gasps> i'm always wearing these these are like my go-to's. I feel like they just go every look. I'm sorry. So the last thing I'm going to do is apply some bottom lash mascara. And you never want to forget your bottom lashes. I swear it makes all the difference just putting on a little bit of mascara. And you will definitely see how your lashes come out. And then finally, I'm just going to apply a liner, and this is Nighthawk by Urban Decay. And then for my lipstick on top, I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury. I forgot the color name, but I have the colors to below. Duh. So, you guys, that's about it. Um, after this, I'm just going to set my makeup with a little bit of Mario Badescu setting spray. And then that is going to be it for this tutorial. 
Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So please be on the lookout for the second half of this video when I show you guys how to slay this week. So please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.